Welcome to Fazelli Cellars. My name is Jasmine Joya. This is Artistio Manager Nicole Blankenship. Welcome. We're very excited to be here in Old Town. We actually just celebrated our three month anniversary this past weekend, but we have been making wine since 2006 and are going to be breaking ground hopefully next year out on Di Portola in regards to our beautiful tasting room, which you can see on the TV screens, the future renderings. Our benchmark grape is Shiraz. The owners are Persian, so they are, our, our wines are inspired by ancient Persian tradition. We've been producing award-winning wine since 2006, but our roots run deep all the way back to the origins of the Shiraz grape back in ancient Persia. So we'd like to invite you to share in one of our flights. It's five featured wines that we believe best showcase the blending of our culture along with our wines. The first one that I'm going to go through with you is called our Nerouz. And our Nerouz is a Viognier Muscat blend. It's 70% worth of Viognier and 30% worth of Muscat Canelli. So the Viognier really does cut down on the sweetness of the Muscat. Um, you're going to get a lot of apricot, peach out of it. It's definitely the aromas are very approachable. It smells sweeter than it actually tastes. Here's amazing with coconut shrimp. Ooh, yes. <laughs> um, and we believe this is more of a reception style wine. Um, as your guests are entering, um, it pairs well with charcuterie trays, fresh fruit platters. So the next one you're going to be enjoying is our 2009 Marigon. That is primarily a blend of 69% Grenache and 31% Shiraz. It's named after the fall, our harvest this festival that the Persians have celebrated since ancient times. It's a soft to medium bodied red, bursting though with a lot of bright fruit, raspberry, cherry characteristics, and is one of our best sellers right now, especially going into the warmer months, and we hope that you enjoy. So the next one that I'm going to introduce to you today is called our Pandemonium. Our Pandemonium um, really has nothing to do with the Persian culture, but rather the lifestyle right now. Um, Everybody's kind of caught up in this chaotic uproar. And this is a primary blend of Cap Franc and Petite Syrah. We also have some Shiraz, Grenache, and Lefebvre in this one. This one's going to be um, very earthy on the bouquet. Um, you're going to pull out a lot of spice from this. Um, pair as well with any um, red meat. We actually paired it with a prime rib for over the holidays, and it was an outstanding pairing, but we've also and some phenomenal food and wine pairing events that this has just gone over extremely well. Or even some milk chocolate covered bacon was amazing with this one. So we invite you to come in and try this one. And embrace the chaos. Embrace the chaos. So the fourth featured wine on our tasting menu is our 2009 Shiraz, which is actually our benchmark grape. Um, I know we mentioned this prior, but there's a city in Persia named Shiraz. And a lot of people believe that that might be where the red actually originated from. So as you can see throughout our flight, um, along with our other, um, we actually produce a total of 27 labels. We focus a lot on the Shiraz varietal, going back to our uh, history and culture. There is a little bit of Grenache and Morvedra also blended in with our Shiraz. Help kind of soften it up, give it more of, we'd like to say, a white pepper, but still let the fruit be showcased, um, where as some others are a little overpowering. And this honestly is great for barbecues, steaks, stew, um, honestly anything that you enjoy. Food friendly or it's amazing on its own as well. So we hope you enjoy. So the last wine on our flight is going to be our 2009 Yalta. And this was actually one of the first bridles that we produced back in 2006 along with our Nerus. This is a blend of 44% Shiraz, 28% Grenache, and 28% Morvedra. as named after the winter solstice or the longest night of the year. And the reason or the story behind this wine is when the owner was blending with our consulting winemaker and they finalized this blend, the owner said jokingly it was a wine he could drink all night long. So hence why they named it after the longest night of the year. And we hope that you enjoy it on whatever night or special occasion that fits you best. So one of the wines we're most proud about um, is our 2008 Cayenne. This is 100% Cabernet Sauvignon. And we named this in honor of Omar Khayyam, who um, the best way to describe him would be to our William Shakespeare. But he was an overall genius, um, poet, mathematician, scientist. scientist, and he has some beautiful poetry. If you haven't um, had a chance to research him, I would definitely recommend doing that. We received 88 points from wine enthusiasts. 
98 points from the California State Fair, along with a double gold, best in class, and best read in show out of the whole um, state of California. So we're very proud of that. We actually received that from Sacramento last year. And it's just a phenomenal wine that we actually have reserved the rest of our production to our wine club members. So if you haven't had a chance to come and check out our wine club, we definitely invite you to do so. Thank you all for visiting us today. We are so proud to share our award-winning wines with you. Please visit us at our Old Town location off of 4th Street in Old Town, Temecula. We are currently have property and vineyards out off of Deep Portola, which is located and you can access us between Kiwis and Renzoni. And we are due to break ground next spring. So we hope to see you all there. If not sooner. <laughs> The Temecula Valley wine area is easy to find. Just exit either going north or south on the 15 at the Temecula Parkway. That's State Road 79. Follow the road eastbound till you get to Anza Road. And there you're gonna make a left-hand turn or be heading north. Head on Anza Road till you see a stop sign. And that's De Portola Road. There you're going to make a right hand turn and you're going to be headed eastbound. And this is where you're going to find all the wineries on this road.